Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Kinetic Labs TG67 version 3. Now if you remember correctly, I did review the version 2 around a year ago now, but the main differences are that the version 3 is pre-assembled. The version 3 includes Duroc V2 stabilizers, it includes Kinetic Labs' own Carbon DS3 stabilizer lube, it has improved internals to help with the sound profile, and it includes switch plus a keycap puller, and it also has 9 color options. A lot of changes, but they aren't really massive ones, or there are some that I pretty much think should have already been included, so it's nice to see that they've addressed the issues that I thought the version 2 had. Inside the box, you get the keyboard kit itself, which is the top and bottom case, screws, the daughter board, rubber feet, gaskets, all that stuff. You also get a polycarbonate plate. They also removed the flex cuts from the keyboard plate itself to help with the overall sound signature of the board because flex cuts usually make a thinner sounding keyboard. So they decided to go against it, unlike how they did it with the version 2. Plate foam case foam, and of course, you do actually get version 2 screw and stabilizers. Now, the biggest issue I had as you can tell is that they are screw and stabilizers and the keyboard does come pre-assembled, but the stabilizers are not pre-lubed or wire balanced at all, they are bone dry, so it kind of was a hassle to have to take everything apart and put it back together because I had to unscrew all the screw and stabilizers. So. What I would recommend for Kinetic Labs to do is just leave the stabilizers out of it. If they aren't going to be lubed or tuned, I see no reason that they should be installed. The main issue I had with the version 2 is that even if you use case foam and plate foam, you still heard some of that metallic sound signature. Now while some people sort of liked it, a lot of people really didn't. And I can say that that is not an issue for this version of it. There are 8 screws on the back of the keyboard, once you take those apart, there is a slot for that daughter board and wire connector, so once you deattach the PCB, lube your stabilizers, and all that stuff, you're pretty much good to go and you can install the switches accordingly. The switches I'm going to be using are the KNC Green Jackets. Now they are factory lubed and that is the way I'm going to use them, but I do probably plan on lubing them because as you'll hear in the sound test later, there is a slight tick to it which I would preferably want to remove. This is a very minimal keyboard build that just works, you know? It's nothing crazy, there's no crazy designs on the bottom part of the case. It has a small emblem which is cute but it is a very minimal keyboard. That being said, because it is a very minimal keyboard, I do think the price staying at $279.99 is definitely pretty high. Here's the sound test, you guys can hear how it sounds. So yeah, in terms of sound, like I said before, they fixed the issues I had with this keyboard. Now, if you do want to know what keycaps I'm using, they are SA Jadeite keycaps, so SA profile is very tall, which gives it that deeper sound signature, but the KNC green jackets are very clacky. Super clack, super tactile, and I love them. So it kind of balances out with the deeper sound signature from the keycaps and the switches themselves. There is a slight flex to this keyboard even with the case foam installed. If you wanted more flex you could obviously remove the case foam, keep the plate foam, but that's all up to you. Like I said before, I think this keyboard is great color wise, it's awesome. The switches I used and just the feel of this overall keyboard in general is great. I have no issues with it, but the price point being at $279.99 makes this very hard to recommend. 
With that all being said, let me know what you guys think about this keyboard in the comments down below. And I'll be leaving a link to this keyboard in the description below if you still want to check it out. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.